Welcome back. Dale Myers with Vision Advanced. Today we're going to talk about the hardest sell is normally to yourself. So we've talked in a couple of different videos about often the reason we think certain things about ourselves has to do with our early or current environment. Our psyche has been shaped by exterior forces but now the interior force, the most powerful force, the interior force is taking over and it's limiting our thinking. If I could take you back to high school or college chemistry in a class, we were mixing two things together. Now, if I want, and if your teacher asked you how much could you make, there was one of the two things that you were mixing together that was going to, going to determine the amount that you could create. It was limiting everything else. So just like in a chemical reaction, in your life reaction, your chain of events that make up your life, there are limiting reagents, limiting forces. The greatest limiting agent that you will ever deal with is yourself, specifically your mind, your state of mind. It's what we believe about ourselves, and again, in some previous videos, we talked about the necessity, the necessity of finding your big why, and I'll include a link in the description below, but it's in finding this big why that we find something so powerful, something so magnetic, that it pulls us toward it, and the first thing to think about is I'm in a bad place perhaps maybe I'm in a great place and then when I'm, when I'm getting ready to start something new some new venture, some new position some new opportunity and I'm gung-ho, I'm ready to go I'm saying yes, I've attended a workshop I've heard the message from could be from a minister, could be from a friend, but something's been put inside of you and it's time to move, you're ready to go. But then something inside of you starts talking to you saying, no, no, it's not going to work out. No, they're not going to buy from you. No, it's, it's somebody else better qualified. What? No, 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 you're not ready yet. No, you can't charge that much. We start telling ourselves, we start limiting ourselves and then the reality comes true. You know the old saying, as a man thinketh, so is he. Whatever you think about the most you become. So if you think that you are less than you really are, then that's what the outcome you get. And that's a, a terrible thing, but it's a powerful thing. If we can just embrace the fact that we are limiting ourselves, then we can, it's almost like turning off a switch. And here's the trick. This is not a one-time proposition. And a lot of you guys know this. And again, this is for whomever you are. It doesn't matter if you're a CEO. You still have some new challenge next year. There's still someone that's going to doubt you. What if you're, you've been excellent in this position, but now you're taking over another organization? Totally different culture that you didn't shape. Maybe you're not able to bring on your best people. And you're having doubts. Can you get it done? We all have them. And it's, again, so the, it really becomes, how can I switch my state of mind back to the mind state that says I can. How can I turn off that other little part of my brain that's telling me I can't? I propose that this is about standards. And it's also about your big why. But So it's your big why that's driving it. And it's related to your standard. If you raise your standard, your standard of behavior, your standard of excellence, then our actions have to be in alignment with it. Related to raising your standard is this thing about commitment. It's not enough to just say, well, I'm going to be here. I was doing this, but now I'm going to do this. It's about committing to it. It's about 
putting plans of action in place to make sure that the thing that was limiting my thinking, because remember, this is about thinking. Now we're putting actions to it, but our thinking is going to uh, determine how we act. It's one thing to say, I'm going to go make a sale, but it's another thing to say, I must make a sale. It's the thinking. It's, well, hello, sir. Can I talk to you about this today? If it's, sir, I have a great product for you. And I think it's the right one. Matter of fact, if you give me two minutes of your time, I know someone just like you I've been able to help. And I, sir, I, I would not offer this to you if I didn't think I could help you. It's about the confidence in which you move forward. But you have that confidence due to a mind state, due to a raising of your standard. Now, I'm going to, and I, I'll tell you, I'll do a deeper dive into this in the next couple of days because there are uh, lots of reasons why we want to stay here. Human beings, we become comfortable in a certain place. So sometimes the state of mind is because we've been broken. Sometimes the state of mind is due to comfort. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Comfort can keep us comfortable and it can also start telling us why we shouldn't go do, go do the next big thing, the next great thing. So again, we're talking about the hardest sell is normally to ourselves. And we need to take care of ourselves before we can take care of someone else. Because again, the world is going to receive whatever you project. You will get whatever you put forth. This goes back to why we need to know, we need to be convinced, 100% convinced that we will get it done and put that out there, out there into the atmosphere. We then change our trajectory. We change the amount of stuff that's produced. Stuff meaning kind of tying it back in what we said before, our chemistry example, our limiting reagent. We're no longer limiting ourselves, at least not at that capacity. We're allowing ourselves to move up, to build up some more, uh, momentum to build up some more again i said stuff it's not fancy but the whole point is there is stuff building up what do i mean well often along with this psych psychology this commitment to improvement some other stuff some other skills because we recognize that in order to do this other thing i might meet, need more skills so i might have to go get some more knowledge and information in which to make uh more rapid decisions and get better uh, repeatable results that's some of the stuff we could be talking about what are some other things that might make up this stuff well it actually might be our network our sphere of influence the people that we've gathered around ourselves so again all of this is about switching the psychology so that you can raise your standard so that you can accomplish your big why. So it's a lot of things that I'm attempting to tie in together here. But it is about your standard. And it's about your mindset. Remember, a mindset or state of mind, it, the mind can be reset. Because again, the best of us have down days and down moments. And if you're saying you don't, you're not being authentic with yourself. The successful people have a mechanism, a trigger. For reminding themselves that, oh, I've been here before. And then they say, well, there was another time when I was unsure about something and then I had to go out and work hard and, and I didn't think I could do it. But over time, this thing became easy. So they see themselves in the reality of they've done it before. We've been here. We've done that. This is nothing new. It's just a different circumstance. But I'm up for the challenge. Oh, it's about to get interesting. But I'm here. Mindset, mind state, standard. Change the mind state. Set the standard. Take the decisive action to achieve your big why. Again, this stuff is all related together. This is how, how this thing works. You're not perfect. I'm flawed. You're flawed. This is just a reminder that we have to have these little triggers when these little voices in our head start talking and they will talk telling you what you can't do and why you can't do it. We got to have a way to remind ourselves that, well, we've been here before. It's going to be challenging. 
It might be downright difficult, but we can do it. We've been here before. There's nothing new. Oh, it's a challenge. Let's go. So again, what's some of the biggest challenges that you've had? Or more specifically, what is the standard that you've had to set for yourself to make sure you could push through? Because remember, the standard is why you're where you are. Whatever situation you find yourself in today, at this very moment that you're listening to me, is a direct result of the standard of behavior that you've set, the standards of wealth that you desire. Now, you can say that you desire more, but again, it is your thinking which dictates your actions, and your actions dictate everything else, everything. All right, again, if I keep going, this is going to turn into a very long video, and I'm trying to tie a few things together here, but I will do one over the next couple of days, and we will talk about the reasons why we want to stay in place, why we are resistant to change. That's coming up. Again, this is, we have to deal with our mind state. And if we understand, we can again find these little triggers, these little games we could play with our mind so that we can continue on our forward momentum. All right, guys. My name is Dale Myers with Vision Advance. Please like the video, share the video with your friends, someone that needs to hear this. We all do from time to time. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.